As we prepare our hearts and minds for holy to receive the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, we ask those of you who are at home uh, that you would prepare your communion elements by peeling back um, the top layer um, and exposing the wafer. And then we will proceed. Amen. Amen. It is the precious gift of memory, the collective imagination that permit us to hear the chorus of voices now echoing across the centuries and the continents, proclaiming glad Hosanna at the presence of Jesus as he triumphantly enters Jerusalem. Witnesses to his healing power, those who had been inspired by his teachings and blessed by his touch, those who had been delivered from a crippling affliction, some maddening malady would join the great chorus with a swelling crescendo. Hosanna. There would be no need for rocks to cry out on their behalf. They would not hold their peace, nor withhold their praise. From here, from where we are, separated by a public policy of social distancing, we still proclaim with grateful hearts, Hosanna in the highest. There is no need for the rocks to cry out on our behalf. We will not withhold our praise. From where we are quarantined or self-isolated, join in a semblance of community by the gift of technology. We still proclaim with grateful hearts, Hosanna in the highest. There will be no need for rocks to cry out on our behalf. We will not withhold our praise. Let us pray together. Eternal God, judge of all humankind, we confess our need of you. We confess not only our many sins, but also our anxieties about the present predicament, a health crisis on a scale so large as to be called a pandemic. We have never had such proximity to the pestilence near biblical proportions. Have mercy on us. Give us grace to remember that perfect love casts out fear, while also remaining vigilant against the cause of our anxiety. Today, we virtually enter a virtually empty temple with faint hosannas on our tongue. But let not our devotion die. We hold these ancient symbols of bread and wine reminding us of the meal you shared with your disciples, a meal through which they and we should remember you. It was that night that you were betrayed by a disciple, that you took bread and wine and blessed them and made them a sacrament. We once again consecrate these tokens, not as relics, but as reminders of your sacrificed body and blood broken and shed because of your great love at Calvary, now in a different space. Made sacred by our present purpose, we partake of the bread and we sip the cup. We feast on these elements by faith, grateful that you are forever present with us, Emmanuel, even in a pandemic. Healer, deliverer, blessed Savior forever. Amen. body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I take and eat and feast on in my heart with thanksgiving. Thank you, God. The blood, the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, not the blood of doves or goats or bulls, but the blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the whole world. I take and drink and feast on it in my heart with thanksgiving. Those of you who are at home and those who are in the sanctuary who have the prepared kits that have been consecrated uh, appropriately in the tradition of in the AME church, I ask you now to take the bread, to 
take and eat and feast it on in your heart with thanksgiving. And now the cup that represents the shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Take and drink and feast on in your heart with thanksgiving. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. humble service desire your godly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving most humbly beseeching you to grant by the merits and the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood we and your whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion and here we offer and present unto you O Lord ourselves, our souls, and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto you, humbly beseeching you that we all who are partakers of this holy communion may be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction. We beseech you to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom with all the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto you, O God, almighty world without end. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen, amen and Amen. We trust that you have renewed your covenant with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we shall stand and praise God from whom all blessings flow.